Hi, this is Ms. Cooper's art class, and today I'm doing a tutorial on moving and transforming objects in Photoshop. So I am starting with a picture of some pieces of fruit, and I'm going to arrange them into a face to show you how to do this. Now when you're in my class, you already have the image in the files. What we're doing right now is we are starting by moving the apple with the quick selection tool, which is along the sidebar. It's the fourth one down in this version of Photoshop. And what I'm doing is I'm dragging it over the apple. I'm clicking and dragging and you'll notice I get the little marching ants or that little dashed line around there. And that is my selection. If you want to add, you continue clicking. But if you want to take something off, like the little dimples at the bottom of the apple, you can hit Option if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows machine, you can hit Alt and that will deselect that part of what you have just selected. So what I'm going to do with the apple is I will eventually move it off to the side without resizing it or changing it. This is just a good way to get familiar with the quick selection tool. If you ever want to get to it quickly, you can always hit the W for the magic wand because that goes in the same area, but I prefer quick select. Now to move it, you have to go to the Move tool, which is the V key on your keyboard, and that will allow you to pick up your object and move it. So I just moved it across the screen, and you'll see there's just a little gap where it was before. Now you can hit Control or Command D to deselect it, um, or you can just go up to the top and hit Select from the drop-down menus and hit Deselect. Now what we're doing is we are moving the top of the pineapple, again starting with that quick selection tool, but now we're going to work on refining it just a little bit more. So I am continuing to add to my selection and take away by again hitting that option or that alt key. Now when you are working on resizing things, if you ever want to change the size of your brush or your tool, you can look at the angled brackets on your keyboard and you can use those to change the size of your brush. So if you hit the ones to the left, your brush will get smaller. The ones to the right will make it larger. So you can change the size of your selection. So that is something interesting to note. As you move along, when you put things in place, you do have to remember to hit Enter to place them and then hit Deselect. So I'm just pausing to give you some of those details while I finish selecting in the video. So you can see how I'm taking some time to refine it because those edges get a little bit lost in the white background. Although overall, Photoshop is pretty good at telling what's background and what is not when you are selecting. I also apologize for my computer fan that is showing up in the audio. So the goal here with the top of the pineapple is to move it to the top of the apple's head to make kind of hair. We're making this weird fruit man. It's an odd thing, but it is a way of showing you how to move everything around. So I will remind you that when it's time to move something, you can't just do it on the wand tool because you'll end up dragging more than you want to over. You'll end up just selecting more. So you do have to go back to the move tool, which is that V key on your keyboard if you are more of a key command person. Otherwise, you can go to the sidebar and hit move. That works too. Now you'll notice it's a little small, so you can use the bounding box in your arrows to make it bigger. If you hit shift like I did, you'll notice that it doesn't really get fatter or skinnier as you drag it. Always hit shift when you're resizing things to keep them the same ratio, um, otherwise you might be a little disappointed. Now I forgot to hit enter or click there, so it gave me the option to hit apply. So if you ever forget, Photoshop gives you the option to apply your transformation, basically meaning your, your movement and your resizing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a blueberry to use as the eyes. I'm only gonna take one of the blueberries that I have from off to the left. So I'm going to click and drag it over to the apple's face. Make sure you're using the move tool to do this part. Um, now I cut it here because something got a little messed up. But the blueberry is there and I duplicated it by hitting 
Option or Alt, depending what machine you're using, and then clicking and dragging so I had a second eyeball. You'll see me do this again later too, but I'm going to leave the eyeballs the same size that they already are. And my next step is to give him a mouth, and I'm going to make my fruit man smile. So when I select the orange, that means I'm going to have to rotate it. So the orange is really easy to select, to rotate, you have to have the bounding box around it. If you ever don't have that, you can go up to the top drop down and hit edit, transform, and then rotate. But I'm just going to grab it by the corner of the bounding box and rotate it in half of a circle to flip it. And then apply that transformation so I'm able to move it again by hitting enter. Um, or if you just kind of click somewhere and try to do stuff, usually Photoshop will just prompt you to apply it. I will deselect it by hitting Command or Control D, or by going to the top and hitting Select in the drop downs, and then just hitting Deselect. The next step is the banana, it's very easy to select. And I'm going to rotate it like I did for the oranges. I'll just make some really, really big ears for my fruit man. But I'm going to need a second ear, and I want it to exactly mirror the first one. So, what you need to do is you take that first one and get ready to move things around. This is just me getting things in place here. I accidentally dropped it, but I just deselected it pretty easily. Or reselected it, rather. So then once you have it selected, you actually have to go to the drop down usually to rotate it. So I held Alt or Option just to make a second banana and to flip it horizontally and keep the stem at the top instead of just rotating I go up to the top drop down menus and I scoot over to the left so I can get to the edit menu. Once I'm in the edit menu I go to transform and then I can go ahead and flip it horizontally. So you'll see me do that in a minute. My video is just still catching up here. So then when I go to the bottom, transform has a couple options, but what I want to do is I want to flip horizontally so that is at the bottom. And then I can put my ear in place and now the banana ear is perfectly mirrored with the other one with the stems at the top. I'll deselect it by hitting Command or Control D because I like the arrow keys, but you can always use the drop downs. And my last step is to make the carrot eyebrows. So I'm going to use my quick select tool. Again, I'm going to hit W to select it most of the time instead of using the toolbox on the side. Now with smaller things like this, sometimes you have to fiddle with it a little bit. Sometimes you don't to select it. It really depends which version of Photoshop you're using and what size brush you're using. Remember, you can always change that brush size with the bracket keys on your keyboard to make your life easier. Now it is time to move the carrot. You'll see what happens when you don't select the move tool. Once you have properly selected the move tool, you can actually move your things around and it is much easier. So I duplicated mine by hitting Alt while I moved it, or option, on my computer. I move the carrot into place, I'm making it an angry eyebrow, and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller by holding shift while I click and drag it so the carrot still stays, you know, about the same ratio in size. Once my carrot is in place, it is time to duplicate it and then do the same thing that I did with the bananas where I flip it horizontally so my eyebrows match up and they both have the green at the top. If I just rotated it, that would not happen in exactly the same way. It still work, but if you're going for perfect symmetry, you want to go to your controls at the top and mirror your image by hitting flip horizontal. You'll see me messing with this for a minute and getting it right. Once I'm happy with it, I duplicate it by holding Alt or Option on my keyboard and clicking and dragging it. And then I can go to Edit, Transform, and flip horizontal again. And then I can put my carrot eyebrow neatly in place 
as long as I am using the move tool. With that, my fruit man is finished and I can go ahead and save him. If you would like to try this exercise, I also have the original image at the end, so it would be really easy to take a screenshot and then work with it yourself. Before it comes up though, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, or comment if this video is helpful. And now is a great time to go ahead and screenshot this so you can work with it yourself if you'd like to try the same thing. Thank you so much for watching.